Hey guys, so I'm in the car right now. I had the last few days off and I was home. And then we got that huge winter storm. It was like the apocalypse, negative 25 and all the flights were canceled back to Philly for the past two days. So I've kind of been stranded in Illinois. Today I finally, like flights are finally going back out. Look at how much snow there is. Well, my mom is taking me to the airport and I have a standby shift at the airport tonight. So my flight is at 136. And I'll get into Philadelphia at 444, but I didn't pack my flight attendant uniform or my required items. So I have to go from the airport back to my apartment, back to the airport by 8.50 at night. So my standby shift starts at 8.50 and then I'm done at, I'm done pretty late. ago it is currently snowing in Philadelphia so I'm making dinner real quick just making a healthy choice steamers and how do I make this to be to the airport until 8 50 but I just realized that KCM closes at 8 in Philly I don't want to do regular security so I'm gonna try and leave here in the next 10 minutes and I oh that's hot Hot, hot, hot. I think I'm gonna get called. Yeah, I kind of do. Um, but I'm still going to wear normal clothes to the airport because it is freezing and I do not feel like putting on a dress at this moment. Traffic was pretty bad because of the fact that it never really snows here in Philly and so people don't really know how to drive. No offense to my fellow Philadelphians, but everyone just acts like they don't know how to drive. It was $26 for a shared ride from the airport to my apartment. Usually it's around $12 and I sat there for about 20 minutes and went down once to 24 and I was like, okay, it's going down and then just went to 26 and I thought it was gonna go back up again. So I was just like, all right, I'm just gonna pay for it. So I don't think I've told you guys this, but I'm going on two vacations in this next month. So I have some swimsuits from Cup Sheet. I love their swimsuits. The quality is awesome. They have great prints. They're just so cute. I'm going to or Houston or San Antonio at the end of the month. My cousin is graduating from Air, the Air Force. And then my mom, me, my cousin Kate and her mom are going to the Dominican Republic for her spring break. So here's the first one. Just really cute top. I love the print on this. And I was feeling the high-waisted bottoms. I just thought they were adorable. So it comes with high-waisted bottoms. thought this was very boho. And then all these are kind of like a boho print. I was really vibing it. I, was, I thought it could work. And then I got this one. This wasn't a... Um, it's more of a purple color. Um, it just had some fun details. This is the only one that's not high-waisted. I had a bunch of swimsuits that I wore this past summer from them, and they were my favorite swimsuits. The quality is just so good. This is a one-piece, and the detailing on this is just so cute. Like, look at the back. It's just strappy and sexy. You love the colors on this. Move the camera right there so you guys see better lighting. I have not washed my hair, so I'm like, do not call me because I'm not taking this hat off. We'll be boarding a plane in this hat. The next one, oh, I just love these prints. They're so cute. Don't you love that? And then the bottoms have some fun cutouts on the side. Is that cute? Oh, I don't remember picking this one out. I didn't pick this one out, but I'll give it to Kate. Cool, okay. I feel like Kate would like this. And we just have that. That would look really cute on Kate. Kate, you're getting a swimsuit. I bet you didn't know that was happening. This one was one of their best sellers. I love the contrast of colors. How stinking cute is that? High-waisted. I just think that'll be adorable. 
and then here is the last one i will leave links to all of these down below i love the colors on this just being on a beach can't you guys picture it it's like super high leg even though it kind of looks like a diaper right now those are my swimsuits i got for these next upcoming vacations we finish packing up my bags and head on out because we got a lot to do in 10 minutes if we're gonna make it there by the time KCM closes. So I was in the middle of editing this video and I was talking to you guys about swimsuits that I got to bring with me on vacation. And then I got a package in the mail for some other items that I want to bring on vacation. So I thought I would throw that in here and show you so it's kind of like an all-in-one. You guys could kind of see what I'm like kind of picking up for spring summer and I know spring break's coming up for a bunch of you guys so just give you guys some ideas if you're looking to buy some new fun stuff to wear. So all these clothes are going to be from Express. They offered to send me some items so I picked some out and I couldn't have found a better selection. They're so cute including this dress that I'm wearing right now. I thought this dress would be perfect because I don't know how warm it's going to be and this is just a great transition from winter to spring and it would be great for fall as well because of this great color and just the material it's so soft i love this everything that i got is in a size small and some of the pieces i tried on and they are too big so i feel like express size is kind of they, it runs big usually i wear in express sizes a small or an extra small and some of them i have to exchange for an extra small but this fits great i got this in a size small and i just think it's so cute i love the color one of my favorite things i got from express is this adorable polka dot dress this is what it looks like and it has the same sort of tie detail on here that it has um right on the front and i got this in a small as well and it fits perfect i think this is so cute it has a little bit of a ruffle detail at the bottom and i just think this will be perfect for summertime perfect for vacation it's super lightweight i love this material it has the adjustable straps as well and i have a short torso so that is something that i really need this is one of my favorite things that i got i am just obsessed with it Being with the dress theme i got this long maxi in a small as well and it's a little too big so i'm gonna have to get an extra small but it is just this beautiful coral hope you guys can see that coral dress with daisies on it so the front it's a spaghetti strap it has this ruffle detail and then it has buttons all the way down the front and then it opens at the bottom it has a really nice stretchy band to it and it is the same lightweight material this is perfect for the summertime it's not like a clingy material it's not gonna make you sweat it's very soft and it's very airy so I'm gonna exchange this for an extra small I feel like it does run a little big but um, I absolutely love it. This jumpsuit is so cute, guys. I am obsessed. It is a cropped jumpsuit. It has this cutout detail. You guys can see that. So it cuts out on both sides. And then in the back, it has this little keyhole opening. Perfect. I can dress this up. I can dress this down. And it just is very flattering. It's a very flattering uh, jumpsuit. And I feel like you could wear that on so many different occasions. Also got these little overalls. And I think these are just the cutest thing. They just scream beachy to me. I think it's because it has this little wood paneling on it. But it just, they're some plain black comfy overalls that same lightweight material like i said i got them in a small i just definitely saw me putting this over my swimsuit just to walk on the beach go grab a drink whatever and it's just nice and airy i feel like it's more of a boyfriend fit it has pockets so it's nice comfortable loose after a day of drinking all day you want something nice and loose and this is just perfect next i got this denim dress this is ran a little bit big as well and it doesn't have adjustable straps so i'm gonna see if they have it in a petite but it is just this really cute denim dress it has pockets on the side as well and i'm such a fan of pockets I'm sure a bunch of you guys are too you cannot go wrong with pockets you could wear this with wedges you could wear this with boots you could wear this with converse it just screamed summer to me sticking with the denim theme this is very similar to that except this is a jumpsuit and this is goes all the way down it's flared at the bottom and it's so cute i need to try and get this in a smaller size and a petite as well i got it in a small but it is just this long denim jumpsuit it's in the back and it's just a really nice denim color and then it has a wide leg and it kind of flares out so it's very flattering and i 
picture this with wedges and just being something that you could wear to like a beer garden or a concert. I just thought that this was one of the cutest things that I picked up. And another jumpsuit, if you guys don't know this, I am jumpsuit obsessed in the summertime. That's basically all that you're going to see me wearing. It is just this checkered blue and white jumpsuit. It's snug on your waist so it really holds you in there and then it kind of goes down. I could definitely see someone wearing this to work in the summertime and I just thought it would be so flattering with some nude heels and just something a little bit dressier if I have one of those occasions or even to dinner. I just thought this was really really cute. So this is the last clothing item. It is a long duster. I thought this would be so cute with like an all black um, dress or an all white dress paired with some wedges. That's kind of what I pictured in my head. It's pretty long if you can see. Um, and then it just has stripes. The colors are really pretty. I thought they were going to be a little bit more bright, but I kind of like that they're more muted. So it's like their Porta Portofino shirt except in a long version. I was looking at their shoes and I was so pleasantly surprised by the selection that I saw. And I noticed that they had Steve Madden on the site, they have Dolce Vita, they have a bunch of different brands that I didn't know that Express sold. And then I saw these beauties. So these are by Dolce Vita. They are a leopard print shoe and they're a wedge perfect heel height they have this little buckle on the side i could see me wearing these with so many of the outfits that i just showed you especially this dress this is definitely one of my favorite things that i got from the site i haven't seen them anywhere else i think they are just so cute and i got mine true to size i'm an eight and a half and they fit perfectly see so yeah, i definitely think these are a summer must have you can find them on express like i said i haven't seen them anywhere else so go to express and get them that's it for this haul thank you express for sending me all these goodies i cannot wait to wear them on vacation and without further ado let's get back to the rest of this video i know what you're thinking carrie where the heck are you well huh, let me tell you about it while i drink my what did you guys call my little drink? The um, something detox, angel detox, mega detox, detox detox. You remember we were on airport standby. You remember I didn't wear my uniform. You remember that every time I don't wear my uniform, I get called. Why didn't I wear my uniform? So I get to airport standby. My girlfriends started at eight o'clock i started at 8 50 and i was the last standby person and i was the most senior standby person of the evening i get there and i'm messaging her and i got there early i forgot to mention that i got there early and i paid 28 dollars for an uber so i could make it there in time to go through kcm made it through kcm that was wonderful sorry let me put you guys down because i just need to chill and relax. I go to the crew room to meet up with her. She told me that one of our other friends who was on before had just gotten called. Like, oh my goodness, it's happening. After being down there for like 20 minutes, she gets a call. She gets an Odan. If you guys remember my Odan video, that's where we're on duty all night. She got an Odan to uh, Maryland. I was on call at 8.50. I think they called me at like 8.55. And first I got a phone call saying that they thought they called the wrong person so we like hung up and then I rushed to put on my uniform because I knew that she just got called so I'd be next in line. I get called for this trip which I guess the person called out at 8 p.m. but I wasn't available until 8.50 so the flight was delayed and then they called me and I rushed upstairs and now do you want to guess where we are? Da -da -da! We're in Nashville, right? I love Nashville. Last time I was here was for the girls trip. This is a super easy trip, guys. So we just went straight from Philly to Nashville, and then tomorrow I deadhead back to Philadelphia. If you remember what deadheading is, if you guys are new, deadheading is where I just fly as a passenger. I do not work the flight. I have a seat. It's 100% a seat and I can wear normal clothes. I don't work, but I get paid 75% for the deadhead. I think it's 75%. That sounds right. That might be my other airline. Whatever. I get paid for it. And then I don't work the rest of the day. Awesome, right? Here's the dilemma. Are you guys ready? There's only two flights from Nashville to Philadelphia tomorrow from my airline. The one they have me on is at 5 p.m. 
and I won't get back to Philly till 8. There's also an 8.30 a.m. flight that has plenty of open seats that I checked into, but here's my thing. I'm like, okay, I can wake up early, not get a lot of sleep, go to Philly, hang out in my apartment all day, or I could stay here, take the five o'clock flight, get into Philly around 8 p.m., have all day in Nashville, and sleep in, I can get work done on the computer. So, I don't know, I'm trying to decide what to do. I feel like it'd be more fun to stay here. I wish this was a nicer hotel because then I'd be so down for it, but this is like the crappiest hotel that I think we've stayed in, and now I sound like a brat. Cause it's like, it's just a hotel, why do I care? But do you know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna stay in a hotel room for hours, like it could have been one of the nice ones that we always get, but now I just sound like this. And I don't mean to sound like that, but it is a nice hotel. I have a bed to sleep in. My other thing is it's 18 degrees in Philly and snowing and it's, I don't know what it is here, but it's warmer than 18 degrees. Oh, I can't make a decision. The life of a flight attendant. <laughs> oh my god, I can't take myself seriously. Before I hit the hay, I'm going to show you guys my newest gadget that I love. So this is a portable blender. So we have this. Now I'm just going to make a smoothie. I think I still have some ice left in here. Usually I do a little splash of milk, but I guess I forgot my milk. I have some protein powder that I'm going to add in. And I have a few blueberries and raspberries. Usually I'll throw a banana in as well. But, you know, we're working with what we have. Okay, so then I put the top on. And, are you ready? You just hit this little power button. And now, we have a perfectly awesome smoothie. We're in Nashville, and it is a whopping 56 degrees and so warm. Hey guys, good morning. It is, well, it's kind of the afternoon right now, actually. So I slept until about 10, and it's around noon. I got some work done, and I want to go to Marshall's. So we're going to go to Marshall's. There's one about, it's like a 10-minute drive, so I'm just going to order an Uber. I need some dry shampoo, and I just feel like getting out of the um, hotel. So my flight isn't until 5.10 this evening. I chose the later flight. Did I say that? I chose the later flight. I tried to make a nail appointment, but everyone was busy, so I scheduled an appointment for tomorrow in Philly at 10 a.m. right before the Super Bowl. I really just want to wear my pajama set because I feel like this... Is acceptable but I kind of feel like it's not and it's Saturday so I feel like a lot of people are gonna be out I would do it if I didn't have to wear a hat but I haven't washed my hair in a minute so I need to wear a hat so I'm gonna change real quick head over to Marshall's if it's packed I'm not gonna film if it's not I'll show you guys I don't need anything um, except for dry shampoo hopefully I'll get back with enough time because I want to take a bath because I haven't taken a bath in so long and I have a nice little bath bomb that I got for Christmas look at how good these Birkenstock dupes are for $14.99 want some good stuff I've never seen it this is my favorite dry shampoo I've never seen it with the volume there's a lot of people in here so I'm not trying to vlog a lot these are super cute. In Target. Those are adorable. Oh my gosh. You're cute too. There's a whole aisle for I've seen on TV. I'm such a sucker for this stuff. Oh. I have this thing and I really, really like it. $20. I use it like once a month to do my whole face. And I love it. just got back and it is such a nice day out I swear everyone looked at me like I was insane because I was wearing this long burgundy jacket Uggs and it's 60 degrees out but it's all I had here's the damage guys I 110% do not have room for any of the stuff that I just bought so there's that 
okay? I see in Target, I showed you guys Makeup Geek is now sold in Target if you guys are makeup lovers. Makeup Geek, sold in Target, it's crazy. But yeah, let me show you guys what I got from Target. I have been looking for this everywhere and there's limited shopping for groceries that's near me in Philly. So I just Amazon Fresh all my groceries and then I use HelloFresh for meals and stuff. So I've been looking for these and I found them. It is hot chocolate, reduced calorie. It's one point for one of these and I'm so excited. I eat tuna light, star kissed tuna packs. They're zero points and um, I just will mix in some light mayo and a little bit, let me move over here, and a little bit of like pretzels in it for some crunch. I also picked up, this is a mascara that I've been loving, a new brow product because I was just, I was in the mood to shop. You guys know like you don't need anything. I literally left here saying I don't need anything and I bought everything. Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer. I'm going to try this out today. I've been wanting a new pair of hoops, so I got a few. These are by, by the A New Day brand. They were $8, and I thought they were cute, a little different, a little fun. Burke's Outlet. Burke, hey. I got these 24 karat gold collagen lip masks. My lips have been so dry lately. I love this Batiste dry shampoo and I've never seen it have the oomph my locks XXL volume spray dry shampoo so I was like okay need to try it three pack of hoops thought those were cute from Carol last but certainly not least Marshalls oh I went to Marshalls before I went to Burke this outlet so I got one dry shampoo two dry shampoo and a three travel dry shampoo. So now I am leaving here with four dry shampoos. Some nylons, you guys always ask me about nylons. I've been trying to buy them on Amazon, but I always just end up buying them from Marshalls. Um, so I just got some new nylons. I like the black sheer. I had never seen these, these are kind of like sexy. They look like this, I thought they were kind of cute. And the bum looks like that. And then, I always like the ones that have the like tummy control. They look like that. I had been needing some Tupperware, so I saw these, and I don't know where I'm gonna fit these. But um, it's just a. It says it's a 10 piece set, and then it has the little um, microwave vent on top. I'm going to try and pack everything in my suitcase. Wish me good luck. I'm gonna make some lunch. Probably have that tuna, and get ready for this flight. I have an hour. Who thinks I'm gonna have time for that bath? He loves this song. These are the hoops I just got from Target. I feel like I could make these work. I could definitely make these work, right? You know, the bigger the hoop. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, guys. Quick recap. I got home. I made out my flight from Nashville to Philadelphia. I got bumped up to first class, so that was great. I fit everything in my bag, and I was able to valet check it, which means that I'm able to check it at the gate, and they will bring it up to me right from the aircraft. Like, I don't have to go to baggage claim. I'm back in Philly. My flight landed at 8. I got home at 9. It's around 10 right now. My girlfriends told me that they were going out, so I was like, I'm going out. Tomorrow is the Super Bowl. And I'm on call starting at 11. So I'm going to go out, go have some fun, go meet up with the girls. And it's freezing here. It was 60 degrees and I was sweating in Nashville. But now it's cold here. And it's like, where's where's that happy medium? That is it for this video. Let me know if you guys have anything in particular you guys want to see on my channel. Besides an updated skincare routine, a uh, makeup routine. I have that all coming. It's just taking a little bit more time. And yeah, let me know if you guys have anything in particular in the comments below. And that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!